Hey everyone, welcome back to IG Iteration. IMAT is almost a month away. So here's the study plan for you to ace the IMAT one month before the IMAT exam. Now this study plan is divided into four weeks and I will share the study guide later in this video as well. So let's start with day one to day three. This time period is called the revision time. Here you'll spend all of your time revising your notes, nothing else but your notes. So if you have any formula sheets, you made any notes, you have small textbooks that cover all of the information in less words, then use that. Spend most of your time revising biology and chemistry and leave the physics and maths for day three. Now, once you've revised, from day three onwards, open the site called BMAT Ninja, which is a free question solver that is similar to the IMAT. Choose Practice Dojo. Choose Section 2. Choose all of the four subjects, Physics, Biology, Chemistry, and Maths. Now choose all of the chapters except Radioactivity and Waves for Physics. Set the limit of questions to 30 and make sure that you finish all of the 30 questions in under 50 minutes. Once you've solved the 30 questions, take a 10 minute break. Now, look at all the problems that you got wrong, analyze which chapters they are from, and then repeat the test, and then analyze the questions once again. What you're doing here is simulating the IMAT exam. 60 questions in 100 minutes, with the most rewarding questions. And because you're taking a 10 minute break, you're not burning yourself up as well and saving the actual IMAT pass papers for the end. Now comes the revision part. Revise the entire chapter if you find a question that is wrong and is in the chapter. Solve at least 180 questions a day or six cycles of 30 questions in under 50 minutes. This equates to around three IMAT pass papers a day. If you solve at least 180 questions a day, you will solve around 2500 or around half of the questions in BMAT Ninja. Don't worry at the start if you get a lot of questions wrong or if your timing is not the best. The key is to become better for the boss papers. Do this until the last week or the end of week three. Now comes week four. I call this week. Download all of the past papers from 2012 till 2023. Ignore the 2011 paper because that is not really the IMAT structure right now. And for the next entire week, which is week four, you will solve at least two papers a day. So you will finish all of the 12 papers at the end of day six of week four. Here is how you will set the exam condition for the next six days. Sit in a closed room, keep a big screen in front of you, a TV, your laptop, or your phone. Set a timer of 100 minutes. Make sure to not staple the papers because in 2023, the question paper was not stapled for anyone and start solving. Remember to take 30 minute break after solving a paper, then looking and analyzing the question paper, then starting the next past paper. This way, you will get better at solving questions because you revise. This is also called active recalling, where you actively recall your information that you just learned through solving questions. And by doing two papers a day, you get better as you move on to day six. Don't try to burn yourself out and just solve two papers a day and keep the rest of the past papers for the next day. Do this till day six and you've solved all of the past papers for IMAT. Remember, as you move on to day six, your exam condition should be as similar to the actual IMAT exam. You need to get used to looking at a timer on a big screen and getting used to the silence inside the room. Now comes day seven. IMAT is one day away. Keep this day for resting. Try not to revise or learn anything new because studies have shown that cramping actually leads to an increased level of stress and anxiety which impacts your recall and problem solving skills. Have fun and remember that you did your best. And if things go south, then at least it won't be because you didn't study for the IMAT. Good luck and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.